All right, so the program we're going to be writing is going to be based entirely in Python, Python 3, and I would like to avoid using commands like raspi still raspi vid if I can, and use exclusively Python commands. Um, so the way that you go about taking a picture in Python is you need to download a module called PyCamera, and the way you go about doing that is in your terminal on your Raspberry Pi, first type in sudo apt-get update. And this will update where all the repositories are for all the packages that we're gonna to have to download. So it's a good idea to do this before you ever download anything. After we've finished updating, let's just clear the screen here. Uh, what we're gonna to want to do is download a particular package. So sudo app-get install. Now, if you are bent on using Python 2, just type in python-pycamera. Duh, okay, so python-pycamera. And if you do this, you'll download the packages needed for Python 2.7 on your Raspberry Pi, but since we're using Python 3, we're gonna add a three there on the end of Python to get the relevant packages for Python 3. Um, I already have mine downloaded and installed, so this didn't take me very much time, but it will probably take you guys a couple minutes to get that set up. So now we have our packages installed. On our Raspberry Pi, we're going to want to open up idle3 for programming in Python 3. After that's loaded up, let's open up a new window since we will be writing a script here and not doing it on the fly. And we're going to save our new file in the cookie folder that we have here on our desktop or whatever folder that you're using, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to call this file cookiecamera.py like that. So cookiecamera.py and the first thing we're going to want to do on our script here is import that package that we just downloaded called Pi Camera. Now there's a couple ways you can go about setting up your camera and it's important to note that if you look at say like the official Raspberry Pi documentation it'll tell you to type in something like camera is equal to Pi Camera dot Pi Camera and there you go, you have your Pi set up. Now, uh, your camera set up on your Pi, rather. Now, the problem with setting it up like this is in this particular program that we're writing, cookiecamera.py, we are needing the use of the camera. We might have another program in the background running, like a different Python script that also needs the use of the camera. Now, the problem is, is if we set up the camera on one script file and are using it periodically, assuming not all the time, and we set up the camera on another script file and we're using it at the same time, we're going to have an error because you can't have the camera set up like two times. You can only have it set up once and when you set it up like this where you have camera equals blah, you need to close it and therefore you need to write that up. And we're going to run into a problem if we continue writing our script like this. So instead of writing it like this, I'm just going to delete this. What we can say is with pycamera dot pycamera as camera. And what will happen now is anything that we write within this block of code, this indented block of code will be executed because we're setting up a new camera every time. And then once we exit that block of code, it will kill the camera. Now, of course, if you're running like a loop or something, this is gonna consume more resources because you're setting up a camera every time when you don't have to, but since we're not concerned about optimizing for speed at the moment, we're just trying to do this for safety, we're gonna set this up. So first we're gonna set up the, the camera such that it closes when we are done with it. All right, cool. So the next thing that we're gonna to want to do is, so we have our camera set up, and if you looked at the documentation for the Pi camera, you'll, you'll see that there's all kinds of different options that we can use, and one of them, for example, is adjusting the resolution, so resolution. And we can set the resolution to be whatever we want. And so in this case, let's go HD, because HD is awesome. So 1280 by 720. We're gonna set a resolution to that, and then we're gonna to wanna to take a picture. The way you take a picture is camera.capture, and then you're gonna to want to specify the uh, file destination that you're gonna save. And it's a good idea whenever you're writing a script, like if I just typed in something like 
image name dot jpeg and I execute this script it'll take a picture just fine but it will take a picture to where the script is being launched and for organizational reasons you might not want that and so it is a good idea to specify the exact directory even if it is the same of where you want to save your image so if you want to say to the desktop that's great but let's keep our desktop clean and let's save it in our cookie folder and let's then name the file something not image.jpg let's call it a uh, new image.jpg yes all right cool and so now we're going to take a picture and we're going to save it to our cookie folder and it's going to be called newimage.jpg. Let's just get some print statements up here so we know the program is running. About to take a picture. And then after our with statement, we're going to say print picture taken. So we know it did something. So if we give that a save and then we run it, We see, about to take a picture, we see the red light come on, picture taken. Very quick, right? Great. Let's check it out. Ooh. What's this? This here is the back of my microphone, and a really handsome dude, at least in my opinion. Yeah. Alright, so in the next video, uh, a little bit off topic as to what we're going to do in our project, but something you might be interested in, is how to shoot a movie in Python. Uh, see you in the next movie, um, next video on how to shoot a video in Python using your Pi's camera. See you then.